The retail space has gone through so many changes in the last decade. In spite of all these changes, the challenges in retail have remained the same. Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Stewart and I will be presenting the argument that retail employers should adapt a flexible four-day workweek schedule because they would benefit from improved employee retention, increased service delivery levels in the organization, and an increase in worker productivity. According to Colloid and Saruman 2017, flexible working schedules have become a widespread phenomenon in all spheres of the labor market. It is an alternative to the traditional 40-hour work week and allows employees to condense their working hours into fewer days, working any variation of 32 to 40 hours in four days, including weekends and holidays. According to the Office of National Statistics, more flexibility means attracting and retaining more talent. This 2021 employment statistic reports that compared to pre-pandemic, retail vacancies are the highest they have ever been. This has resulted in businesses having to explore new forms of benefits to attract and retain talent. According to Strong and Harper 2019, one sure way of doing this is by first acknowledging that the new generation of workers are not looking for the usual working hours, but rather flexibility in their working hours. Therefore, implementing a flexible four-day workweek schedule is a way to not only attract more staff, but also an effective way to improve retention. This is also an effective way to make employment more accessible and drastically reduce the staffing challenges being faced by retailers. A shortened workweek schedule encourages more women to take up jobs they otherwise would not as a result of their caring responsibilities. For instance, mothers who have to care for children would now have the flexibility to be gainfully employed on a schedule that would be suitably balanced with their lives at home. A shortened work week also encourages employee loyalty. Most employees look forward to spending time with family or engage in other non-work related activities on their days off. Spencer 2022 wrote, knowing that they can look forward to one additional day to carry out these activities has been reported to encourage loyalty among employees. Lee and Lim 2017 reported that while holidays and days off are some of the ways in which employees rest and recuperate, more regular free time is needed to lighten the burden of work so that employees don't feel burnout. An employee who is suffering from fatigue and less than acceptable physical health is unlikely to provide high levels of service to customers. On the other hand, an employee who is rested and more focused is less likely to get irritated in the workspace. This employee is more likely to be courteous, patient, and relaxed, ultimately creating a positive experience for customers. In order to improve the service delivery in the retail business, it's important to adapt to adapt to fluctuating market demand to boost responsiveness and competitiveness. It's necessary to align your frontline staff with store traffic to drive conversion. This means that having happier, more engaged employees aligned with store traffic will greatly improve the likelihood of a sale and return customers. If the scheduling is rigid and does not account for the different highs and lows in customer activity, this will negatively impact sales. Strong and Hyper 2019 posits, by offering a flexible work week schedule, retailers are recognizing the needs of the millennial workforce. This is an opportunity for retailers to be able to offer fresh, energized, and innovative team members to meet the growing needs of their customers. With the new technologies being introduced in the business, millennials are far more advanced and willing to adapt to the changes required to affect these new technologies. By, aff by offering them the flexibility in their hours, this creates a win-win situation for employers. According to Skidelsi 2019, less fatigue promotes higher worker motivation. He noted that productivity should not be solely based on the amount of hours put in, but on the well-being, fatigue levels, and overall health of the worker. Studies have shown that a shorter working week can mean fewer sick absences, fewer in-work accidents and mistakes, and higher worker motivation on the job. In fact, various case studies have demonstrated that a shorter working week can actually increase employee productivity per hour worked. Additionally, if employees are more motivated to be at work, this means employers will have less struggles and with tardiness and absenteeism. This is a critical productivity hindrance in the retail space. On numerous occasions, as indicated by retail managers and supervisors, employees will just not show up for work or they'll simply call out because they're feeling too tired. This results in slower services at the checkout and impacts the merchandise availability on the shop floor. Skillsy 2019 also insists that retail employers should look at reduced working week as a 
should look at reduced working week as an enlightened form of improving workplace efficiency and welfare instead of it being damaging to productivity. His report points to the fact that across the world's richest countries, higher productivity correlates with lower working hours. Colorett and Saruman 2017 also confirm that studies on call centers conclude that as the number of hours worked increases, the average handling time for a call for a call increases, meaning that agents become less productive as the day goes on. Economists believe that a four-day work week is counterproductive for the retail space as it only adds to the company costs. In order to be able to achieve a flexible four-day work week for retailers, more employees will need to be hired in order to cover the varying shifts. This, according to Jolly 2022, is adding to a company's recruitment costs. Additionally, scheduling for a shorter week will impact the company's service delivery, thereby creating less positive customer experiences. However, retailers like Uniqlo and Primary have who have successfully implemented flexible four-day work weeks for their employees agree that the implementation actually reduces their overall costs by raising productivity, reducing turnover costs, and increasing worker morale. This achievement fits with the profit-maximizing strategy of the retail industry and benefits their, their shareholders. As the retail sector continues to grapple with the high vacancies, it would be wise for employers to consider the benefits of offering a shorter, more flexible work week to employees. Like other companies who have successfully implemented a flexible four-day work week, the numbers do not lie and the responses have been overwhelmingly positive. Thank you for listening and take a moment to view the references attached.